I've been wanting to put my backpack on and go on a solo fly fishing adventure deep into the bush all of this season. But the rivers have been so high and weather just been atrocious that almost halfway through the season now this is the first time that this river has reached a level where it's worthwhile to come up here. And this is going to be a big adventure. The cicadas are out in force and hopefully with a clear river the fish will be feeding off the top but mostly this is an adventure for me I'm going to be trying to push as far up into the bush as I can over these three days and fish as much water that I haven't seen before as I can I'm really keen on sight fishing and I'm really keen on dry flies but whatever it will be it will be an awesome adventure so come along for the ride and let's see what happens over the next three days it's about eight kilometers walk to the shelter where I'm going to be staying tonight but there's a lot of good water all the way through up to there so I've come about halfway up and I'm going to jump into the river now start sight fishing my way up see if I can find some fish and I'll be fishing till I get to my shelter tonight and uh, yeah let's get onto the river and see if we can find the first fish I'm just about to cross and there I spot a nice fish right in the tail here. Well it was awesome to find a fish in the very first bit of this absolutely beautiful water that I basically stepped in. I missed the cicada strike and it didn't want to eat after that but it came up for the cicada so I'm going to stick with the dry fly and they're very excited now very excited so let's see what we can find it's just stunning. I mean in a primal forest it's a super clear river it's just magical and I'm so looking forward to uh, the next three days. The one thing about this river is you can't really fish on the banks. So I've got to fish my way up the river, which is pretty hard with this heavy backpack on with all my gear and camera gear and stuff in it and sleeping bag and stuff. So yeah, got to very slowly make my way up and I'm also trying to spot fish as I go. And I might have the odd blind cast where it looks really good and I can't see. Well, things aren't going as bland at the moment with their fishing and it's just started to drizzle now so uh, yeah there's supposed to be the odd shower today I don't know if this drizzle is really going to turn into anything or not I guess I'll find out soon enough but yeah just struggling a bit we'll see what happens just gotta try and find some fish okay okay well I've spotted some fish down there I can see at least two quite make my way across there's no way to get down further down but there's two down there at least I okay, so just got to water load it I got it to the other fish on the other side there yep got him just needed to get that drift right yes fish on yes <laughs> and I'm on board well I finally took that Frenchie that's a nice rainbow beautiful backcountry rainbow oh just look at that man that is just a lovely fish let's come a little bit closer oh man so good so so good to get that fish and uh, yeah hopefully that's the first of many get that one away Oh, I've spotted a fish down here. I am uh, I'll take my old pack down and try and stop it and see if I can get to catch it. I reckon there's a fairly reasonable chance that this fish might eat the dry fly. So I'm gonna try and sneak up on it and get the dry in front of it. Taking the nymph off. Well, I had a lot of hope for that fish, <laughs> but uh, I don't know what happened. I guess I'll see with the footage in the end uh, from the other camera, whether it just spooked on the cast or what happened, I guess. I don't know, but it wasn't there anymore after the first cast. So I guess it spooked. Whoa, that's a big hole. Anyway, let's... Oh, I don't like that spider web. I'm going to miss that one. It's a sheet web. web. <laughs> um, yeah. 
unfortunately that didn't work out so keep heading up I'm uh, sort of trying to skip going up the river as much as I can because it's very hard going so I'm sort of following the air tracks next to the river and just trying to spot from up high and uh, that's worked with that fish so we'll see if we can keep doing that uh, yeah beautiful place absolutely stunning forest the river down there just stunning so definitely not complaining even though the fishing is a little bit tough but I'm sure we'll find more so let's keep on going on we just spooked one by the look of it but there might be another one in the same spot Yeah, it's definitely another fish there. There's a bit behind it. The other one's dropping back. I get it drift. Make the dry. Yes! Only a little fish, but it's monster that cicada. Nice, very cool. Nice rainbow. Let's get that one away. Well, that wasn't the biggest fish, but that dry fly hit was quite spectacular. A monster, that cicada pattern, and uh, yeah, that was really cool. So I'm going to keep working my way up, but I'm, I'm looking for a nice sandy beach area where I can have some lunch and a cup of tea. So, or coffee actually, I didn't bring tea. So let's head on up and see what we can find. I don't know, I'm not sure if I see fish or just shapes on the bottom, it's probably rocks. Uh, I'll just put a couple of casts in there. Take the dry. It was a fish. Take the cicada. Wasn't sure. Saw a shape. And it's a nice fish. Oh, another lovely fish. Not the biggest in the world, but a beautiful rainbow. So uh, really nice again to get that dry fly eat. And uh, yeah, that's what I came for. Cicada and dry fly eats in the bush and sight fishing. So. You barely see this one, but I saw a shape and uh, turned out to be a fish. Last look there, and then we'll get this one away. I couldn't find a nice flat beach spot, so this is the smallest little beach ever. But I'm going to have my lunch here now and have a cup of coffee. It's already nearly three o'clock, so uh, I'll move on after that. And just need to get this pack down for a bit, it's getting a little bit heavy. So let's get the stuff out and start making it lunch. Well, I'm just getting the cooker out and a jet boil. Well, jet boils boil pretty quick, so let's see if I can catch a fish before it boils. <laughs> just had that one on the nymph out of here. Got just had a dry eat. Oh, no, my nymph. I had the nymph. Thought it was a dry. Oh, two more. See if there's more in here. All right, got one. Yes. <laughs> Did he take this? I think it took the dry too. Whoa, come up here, come up here, come up here, come up here. <laughs> nice. It hasn't boiled yet. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There we go, just in the lunch break. <laughs> Very cool. Let's get that one away. For those who have been following the spork story, this is a new spork my wife bought me. Proper metal one, really nice. Even comes with a little uh, pouch like that as well. So yeah, there's a bit of a story. I've, I've forgotten my spork more than once so uh, those who have been following my channel for quite a while you'll all know about the spork story and 
all the nets lost so I remember my spork and I haven't lost my net yet <laughs> so let's hope I can maintain that for this trip another two days to go so uh, yeah we'll, we'll see if I can if I can uh, not lose my net and keep my spork it's hard to explain to someone just how good it is coming into the bush like this I mean it's hard work the pack is heavy the river is tough going but the forest cicadas the birds there's lots of kakas and tuis and stuff around it's just pristine it's stunning beautiful clear water coming out of the forest lots of trout uh, it's just amazing that there's kilometers and kilometers of river anyway that's a lot rambling i'll pack up my little lunch set up make sure i take my rubbish with me and i leave only footprints and then I'm going to make my way up the river to where I plan to jump out a little bit further up. I feel reasonably confident that the good water is going to have some fish. Let's see if it keeps painting out that way. Yes, that dry just went under. I don't know if he took the dry or whether he... Oh, I think he came up for the dry. I thought I saw a splash <laughs> right behind me. That is pretty cool. Yeah, he took the dry. <laughs> awesome. That's really cool. Oh, <laughs> look at that jump. Look at that mad jump, jumping fish. It's a madly jumping fish. Oh, nice rainbow, absolutely lovely. Very cool to see that uh, fish jump and go mad like that. But yeah, let's get that one back in the water. Well, that was a nice fish. It took the dry. I just saw the swell and uh, yeah, then managed to land it down downstream after it jumped like crazy. Unfortunate thing I realized afterwards is that the 360 cam all the way up to this point has been on the wrong setting so all the footage you've probably seen of fish up till now has just been the gopro and sorry for that but it's fixed now and hopefully we'll get some really good footage for the rest of the three days well, i must say it's been a little bit quiet since i finally fixed the 360 cam now i can't seem to get any footage of me catching a fish so uh, i just dropped a little one and uh, I thought there was a bigger one in that spot but it was just a little one and that jumped right at me and the little ones just shake themselves off so I lost that one but yeah keeping going up it's now about quarter to five so just making my way up still going and I'll eventually when it gets a bit too late I'll jump on the track and just finish up and go to the camp anyway let's keep going up it's hard going it's up all this sort of stuff, rocks and yeah, clambering and struggling all up the river through bits and pieces like this and yeah, a lot of clambering oh, and a heavy pack oh, it's going to gorge out now for a bit I've got to make my way back up to the track oh. Oh. I need to scramble It's just up there. Feels like forever. Oh, with a speckle. Little friends don't know me. Almost there. Oh. Okay, I made it up the track. I thought we got another 45 minutes at least walk. To the camp so if you don't like and subscribe for this i think i might have to take up some other sports so let's see if we can get a hundred subscribers on this video <laughs> otherwise i might have to do what powell was going to do with the past video and take up some chess instead of fly fishing because honestly i'm naked came from down there that's the river down there Came up this bank. 
track up there it's back towards the car it camps up that way so yeah let's go made my way back down to the river again there's some good looking water here that I'm gonna fish I can't see any fish in here so I'm just gonna blind fish it through hoping that I'll surprise the fish Yep, got him. Oh, he's a jumper. Not very big, but he's a jumper. Nice. <laughs> Look at that, we'll be one in there. It's not that small, actually. Whoa, crazy jumper. Actually, not a bad fish. <laughs> nice. Nice, very nice. Yeah, not a bad fish actually. Nice. The numbers out. Yep. Oh, that's someone else's name. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> well, I got someone else's fly out of there. Out of that fish. There. It's not my fly. Um, my fly stopped in the net. Little hair and cocker. Very interesting. Well, save them up a fifth fly. Another stunning piece of water. Let's see if I can get one out of here. Okay, I just spotted one. Right in front of me, that was a little bit to its right. It's a decent car. Is he going to come up for the dry? Eat the dry! Yes! Yes! That was perfect! Yes! Whoa! And he's going berserk! Nice! That's a good fish! Exactly what I wanted. Now I've got to get him upstream here. Let's come up soon. That's a nice fish. <laughs> Best fish so far today. Sight fish, dry fly eat. What more can you ask for? That's going to go two pounds. Three pounds. Nice. Definitely fish of the day. Beautiful three pound rainbow. Absolutely happy about that one. Wow, just a beautiful fish. It's the last look there, and then we'll get that one away and start making our way to camp. I think. Just making my way back up to the track. Got to really push through to the camp now. It's starting to get a little bit late. It's after six now, so got to make my way back. Get some dry clothes on, start a fire, cook my dinner and have a good sleep tonight. Oh. Man, these things are painful when you're tired and you have a backpack on. I have to clamber through it, there's a big drop there as well. Oh my god, this stuff is not fun. Oh. Oh, that's tiring. When you're already tired after a long day. Climbing through that was not fun. Anyway, not long anymore. Only another 10 minutes and I should be at my camp. Well, I have made it to my camp and uh, got a bit of company here, so a bit, a bit hard to film, but it's quite a nice setup. A little shelter, really. And a bit of stuff here, a sink, fireplace. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be cooking soon and making some food. Yeah, there's someone here doing a blue duck survey. So uh, they're going up the river tomorrow and I will be dropping in above where they, they're gonna drop, walk up and 
drop in and do their survey downriver. And I'm going to drop in above them and go up to the next hut tomorrow. So yeah, let's um, get dinner started. cup of coffee and then I've got to copy some files off these things and set everything up to charge and uh, sort things out before uh, going to bed. Okay, well it's day two. I have got up and made breakfast, had a coffee, and I'm starting to sort my stuff out, uh, starting to pack stuff. Charged everything last night and copied footage and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, gotta get my stuff on, my boots and bits. And then today is the big day. I am heading up. It's gonna be all water that I haven't fished before, so. Well, I'm off making my way upstream. You can still see it's pretty dark in the forest, so it's pretty dark on the river and probably quite hard to see. We'll see when we see the river. But uh, there's a few nice pools not too far up from the shelter, so I'm gonna have a look at those. And after that, I'm gonna shoot all the way up and uh, get close to the hut where I'm gonna stay tonight and then fish the river up towards the hut. Although I've heard it's quite gorgy up there, so it should be interesting. In memory, there's a really good pool here. Well, this water just looks too good. Okay, I just saw a fish. Should be a reasonable cast. Maybe it's a little further over. I did dry. Ah, oh, I missed him. Well, it was good to get a take on the dry, and even though I missed it. But uh, yeah, I'm just making my way back to the track and I just jump between the, the good pools here, uh, the no ones that I know, for a little while before I head all the way up. See you at the next one. Man, this forest is just incredible. I mean, just look around. It's just amazing. Just look around. There's just forest everywhere. Big tree ferns. It's just so cool. Stunning forest. Yeah. Maybe it's almost out. I took the dry and I missed it again. Ah. Well, that's two pools, two fish. <laughs> Both missed on the dry. And uh, yeah, plus those couple of little ones that I dropped. So, <laughs> bit of a funny start this morning, but it's good that there's a lot of fish around. So hopefully I can actually hook some of them. Okay, good looking water here. Probably slightly better on the other side, but I can cast better on this side. Yes, this time I've got him. Came up quickly dry. 
Yes, yeah, that feels like a good fish. Perfectly took the dry. I am in such a difficult spot though. We have a hookup. <laughs> nice. We are on board! <laughs> awesome! There we go! First full rainbow on board! Not a bad fish actually, probably about two, two and a half pound. Nice! Very cool to get one on board on the dry fly. Let's get that one away. Finally I'm on board with a nice rainbow from that stunning pool. But it's only the tail of the pool so maybe there's another fish in there and We'll uh, see what happens. There's been a lot of swallows around uh, and I think there might be a bit of a hatch starting to happen. So uh, they've been scooting over the water, catching insects. So interesting to see what happens. And there's a big eel right next to me. Really nice trout there. Take the dry, he shied away from the dry. Took it the second time. Yeah, two goes at it. A bit annoyed I missed that last fish, but uh, I guess that happens. He didn't take the dry the first time, and then the second time when he came around, I couldn't quite see what happened, and he just I didn't hook him. So, and then it was off. Oh well, happens. We'll uh, try and find another one. Just keeping making my way up and stopping at different pools that look nice on the way. Okay, I'm making my way down to a pool here where I saw some movement in the tail. I think it's small fish, but at the moment, any fish will do. Better cast. Oh, small one ate the dry. I don't mind that. You can take a dry all day, little fish. <laughs> Took the cicada dry. Woo! May I jump it too? <laughs> That's all good, little fish. I don't mind. I can catch little fish all day with cicada dries. Whoops, <laughs> Awesome. Have a quick look. There you go. A little rainbow. Let's get that one away. Well, nice to have a fish on board again and a cicada dry fly eat. Only a little fish, but doesn't matter. It was a dry fly take and that's the coolest thing. That's only the tail of this, so let's work our way up and see if we can get another fish out of here and hopefully a big one. Well, I'm on the track to the hut now. It's become very gorgy, so I can't get back down to the river, so I know the hut is by the river, so hopefully the gorge is over by then or earlier and I can get in and do some more fishing. Okay, well, I decided to stop for an early lunch, still about half an hour to the hut. A little bit of a stream here so I can cook my lunch and make coffee and stuff, so yeah. I'm taking up the path again, but... I don't think there's many people going to come past here. Well, noodle time. You must wonder why I eat so many noodles. The truth is I just don't like the freeze-dried stuff. I've tried all of the freeze-dried stuff and just don't like it. I'd rather just eat noodles. I brought my pot and my pan stuff. The extra weight and stuff of carrying other fresh food and bits and pieces is just too much. So, 
I already carry milk for my coffee because I do not like um, powdered milk. But I think next time I'll carry even I'll even carry powdered milk just to make things light and easy. Every bit of weight counts when you are carrying these things all day long. Especially when you're fishing with it on your back. It's all good walking in, but when you're fishing with it for eight or ten hours clambering through the river, it gets very, very heavy. Oh very well. It's cool to see the river again. Definitely gonna have to have a look. Where is that long tail cuckoo? Impossible to see. Hmm, river. I wonder what it looks like down here. I've uh, spotted a fish here. It's actively feeding just below the surface. Uh, I reckon it will come up for the dry, so I've taken off the num. And it's finishing too much snack, so I'm gonna try with the dry. Let's see if it will come up. Yes! That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> That's a good fish too. Yes! Absolutely awesome. Nice. Oh, <laughs> wildly jumping. There it is. Awesome. Oh, I'll try and land it up that sandy patch up there. Whoa. <laughs> that was magic. That made my day. Whoa. Ah, oh, busted me. He saw me under that log. Well, that was just amazing, that eat. Can't believe I lost that fish, though. But that was amazing. You saw him under that log in there. Well, I'm quite gutted that I lost that last fish. I am quite happy that I got that dry fly take, so that was really nice. It was a really cool cast and it took it first time, so it was a really nice pool coming up there and uh, hopefully we can get another one out of there. I took over this senior fish. Oh, dry fly eat. Massive dry fly eat. I was so sure there must be a fish in here, and there is. Oh, awesome. That was a massive dry eat. He just smashed that. Well, not the biggest of trout, but it ate the dry nonetheless, which is really cool. So, uh, yeah, let's get that one away. Came back up to the track and just walked and spotted that fish. Make my way down and figure out how to get to it. Very cool. Actively feeding. Looks like a good fish. Not a particularly any easy route down, unfortunately. Well, I have made it into the river. See if I can locate that fish. There's a little one in front of me that I don't want to spook. That is going to be a horribly difficult cast. It's feeding very actively. It's a terrible cast. That is the cast I wanted. Hope they dry. Yes! Can I keep it on? This is a good fish. Yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. Ah, oh, my first cast was horrible. Oh, big jump. Try and bring it over the shadows here. No, 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 logs, 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 come out of there. Oh, that was close. Stay out of those logs. Come over this side. You should really try to wash you off on logs and stuff, eh? Hey? 
так. О. Very strong, I don't think they'd be. But very, very strong. Alright, I can land it. Yes, yes, yes. That was a perfect dry fly eat. Not the biggest fish, but. A lovely rainbow, very fat and beautiful and silvery, so very cool, very happy about that. <laughs> After missing so many takes and frustration, that is a nice fish, another dry fly eat. Let's get that one away. So far I haven't had any luck getting more than one fish out of a pool today, so probably won't here either, but I'm going to put a few casts in nonetheless. <laughs> Little ducks up there. I thought a fish just came in. Looked at my fly and ate it. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> it came out of the depths. I'm going to try and land this one quick because there's so much stuff here. And it's bullying it, there's so much logs and stuff. Trying to lift its head out of the water. Ah, nearly had it. Yes! <laughs> that was really cool. It came right out of the depths for that. Lovely rainbow, let's get that one away. Oh, I think I see one. I think I just see this other one. It's a reasonable part. It's swimming over. It's, it ate it. Yes! That's a good fish. Yes! Another dry fly side fish. That is a big fish. That is a big fish. That is a big fish. I need to try and keep that on. Oh, it's coming towards me. That is a big fish. No, logs, 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 logs. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Bring it up here. That should be the fish of the day, if not the fish of the trip. I can land it. Trying to keep it out of the logs and stuff. Bring it up here into the shallow. Wow. Strong. That is very strong. Nice. Definitely the fish of the day, possibly the fish of the trip. Need to land it. Over yes, yes, that is a good fish. Okay, that one deserves a weight. Four pounds, fish of the trip. <laughs> fish of the trip. Four pound rainbow. Beautiful. That is an absolutely lovely fish. My goodness, couldn't be happy about that. Couldn't be happier about that fish. That's just. Ah, oh, perfect dry fly eat, back country, big rainbow, that's all I wanted. Awesome, we're going to get that one away. Very, very pleased with that. Fish of the trip, lovely four pound back country, rainbow trout. And I mean, look at the surroundings, it's just spectacular. Primal forest and no one but me. So that's just fantastic. You can still hear the cicadas and that's why they're going so mad for that dry fly. But yeah, 
and that's all that I've got on now. I've just got the Cicada dry fly on it. It's like a PMX foam PMX koala or something like that. Back on the track and gonna keep pushing up and exploring and seeing what I can find. As long as the track stays close to the river, I'll keep an eye out for good looking pools and pop down if I can. Okay, I've just spotted a trout off the track. I need to try and figure out exactly where it's sitting. Oh, we're sitting behind an overhanging branch. Okay. Go way down here. This is a stunning pool. I can get this trout caught. Just got to get a decent cast in there. I'll up by those branches up there. I think you can't see it. behind it but it, I don't yes perfect <laughs> oh majorly jumpy fish that's awesome I don't think that was the greatest cast but head on the reel <laughs> awesome I thought it was a bit bigger but I don't mind. That was a really cool dry fly eat. Yes, very cool. Very cool fly came out. Yeah, the blue ducks are there coming down the pool. Very cool, the Fio. There's a little fish, beautiful rainbow, good condition, lovely little fish. Let's get that one away. Wow, that was super cool. Perfect dry fly eat first cast. And yeah, that was really nice. I'm not gonna disturb the blue ducks, they're just sitting up there in the pool. And even though there's really nice looking water, I wanna get back up to the track and keep making my way to the hut. I've been dilly dallying getting to this hut all day, so. Uh, it'd be nice to get there, but it's nice to get another fish uh, on the way. So let's see if, well, you never know what happens. I don't know what's in the next 10 15 minutes. Well, that is a big fish just further up in this pool, just above where the blue ducks are sitting. Wow. I thought it was good looking water. That is a lovely fish. So I'm going to, I might have to wait for another day for that one. I've made it. I'm here. Let's go inside. Start with a cup of coffee. More noodles. You've seen all of this before. I'm taking the bare essentials, net, rod, cameras, tippet, a couple of flies, and my PLB, personal locator beacon in case I fall over or something like that. And I'm basically going to go and check out the, the river upstream from the hut for an hour or so and see what I can find. Well, this is some of the best water I've seen so far. I wonder if there'll be something in here. I haven't been able to see anything yet. Couple on the tail. Yep, there we go. Little fish. But he monstered the cicada. <laughs> Even though he's little, he absolutely monstered a cicada. That is quite cool. Only a little trout. So, uh, we'll get him in. That's quite cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. Little rainbow trout. 
Nice. Man, I just love the dry fly eats. Even that little fish, it just absolutely smashed that cicada. So, I mean, it wasn't big, but it's been a fish. So I've got something up above the hut. Well, I haven't managed to find any more fish and it's getting a bit late now. It gets dark early in the forest. So uh, I'm going to try and find the track back and uh, I'll see you at the hut. I'm taking up a bit much space, but I don't think there's anyone else still coming tonight. So it's just uh, one other person and me. So I'll take a bit of liberties. <laughs> make sure I clean everything up nicely afterwards so yeah bunk beds I'm gonna be here tonight oh mattress oh I can absolutely do with a mattress now I'm so so tired just take a took a couple of panadols and uh, making a coffee and then it's just relaxing for the evening and uh, yeah tomorrow is a big walk back 16 kilometers five hours long walk so yeah not really looking forward to that to be honest but uh, yeah we'll uh, try to do a fish on the way maybe one fish we'll see While I'm on my way, I'm doing a fairly good pace at the moment. So uh, it won't be too long before we get to a morning tea spot. But the coolest thing is I've got a little bit of surprise in my car for myself. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to that at the end. Hopefully it's worked out as I planned uh, when I get there. But you'll see when I get there. It's a nice little surprise, which I recommend something you do if you do these big walks something to leave yourself in the car <laughs> but uh, let's see when we get there I'm gonna stop for morning tea in a little while that trout that I saw back there was pretty pretty cool again it's the one I missed last night and we're still hanging about there again so uh, I'll be hopefully there next time I come back up here but now I need to keep walking well I made it back to the car let's see if my little surprise is still as I'm hoping it is now in there, I've got a cooler with ice and drinks. Now, after three days, it's probably not ice cold anymore, but hopefully it's coldish. Let's find out if it's still a little bit cold. Oh, it's still pretty cold. Yes, it's not too bad. Oh, oh that's going to be good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this adventure as much as I did. Three days, two nights. 28 kilometers return fish caught and uh, yeah the dry fly eats were really awesome really love that and now I have a four hour drive home so like I said earlier in the video this has been a lot of effort so I want to get 100 subscribers from this video <laughs> so please subscribe otherwise I might have to take up chess instead of fishing uh, let's hope we get that 100 subscribers and you've made it till here so why not subscribe because you're probably going to watch another video and you might want to see the future ones that come up anyway enough of that watch this one next it will be a good video see you in the next one